Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So this video is a request from a viewer and um, she requested a um, lymphoma cancer awareness ribbon and I'm happy to do that. So I did a few different um, awareness ribbons and I'll just show you. Um, this is the lime green um, lymphoma ribbon and I did a blue border on it but I think you can do any border. Um, it's made with, we've used um, Odd Count Peyote here, which is um, makes a really pretty ribbon, get a little point at the end, um, and just sewed it together on the edges here. So that um, that's what that one looks like. And then I made um, this one where I used a little bead here to hold it together. So it has a bead in the, you know, um, it's sewn through the back, and the bead is what holds the ribbon together. And you could, I didn't do it here, but you can tack it down on either side, you know, easily. So there you go. So here are the two ribbons, um, the different um, types. I think we'll we'll do this closure. This one's pretty easy. You're just going to tack down the beads. Um, so before we start, just to, to show you what it looks like, this is the this is what it looks like before it becomes a ribbon. And I'll just put that one over there for now. So it's um, a four inch piece of, uh, of odd count peyote. And then it just has a you know, I did a border around it and then came to some points here and then we're just going to fold it over like this to make a ribbon. And what you can do is on the back you can put a pin, you can put, you can, um, put it like something like a tie tack, that kind of pin. I think that would be really, um, a good way of doing it. You can make an earring, you could make, um, a, a, a necklace. Um, so I'm going to give you the, um, the materials list right now and we'll get started on this uh, ribbon. Okay, so what you're going to need for this is you're going to need some 10-0 Delicas. And I didn't sew this one together yet. So um, I'm using some turquoise and here they are. And these are, um, I'll put the color in the description box. And then for my um, border, I'm using this um, white uh, 11 0 seed bead and this is called opaque matte light pale gray looks white to me so, <laughs> but it's called pale gray so those are the two um, colors I'm going to be using you need a little um, an 8 0 seed bead because I want to do this where you can you know we put the bead here so um, I'm using an 8 0 um, there a little um, stop bead so I'm using a size 11 beading needle. You can use a 10. It doesn't matter what size you use. And I'm using um, uh, Wildfire Green, but you can use Fireline, whatever, you know, color um, you want to use. Um, and you can use 8 pound, 6 pound. I don't think it really matters. Um, this is a pretty, um, you know, sturdy weave. So, um, you know, just whatever you, you're comfortable with. Okay, so that's what you're going to need. So, um, Get your materials together and we'll get started making this ribbon. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, we're back and I've got my um, 10 0 Delicas. I've got my 11 0 white seed beads. I have my needle threaded with about two wingspans of fire line. You need a lot of thread for this. Um, put on a stop bead and leave a 10 to 12 inch tail because you want to sew this little um, point on. So I want you to have enough thread to do that. It's a generous amount, but um, it's better to have a little bit too much. All right, so there we go. I want you to put on your needle one, eleven oh, five of your delicas, of the ten oh delicas, and one, eleven oh, just like that. Bring those down. Okay, so now we're going to do a little peyote. Let me see if I can get this situated on my finger. Okay, so pick up a white bead, your eleven oh. Skip the bottom bead, come up the next Delica, and I'll pull in for this one. Okay, so do that, just like that. Give it a pull. I want those two white beads to sit next to each other, and they will. All right, just like that. Pick up Deno Delica, skip the next bead, go through the next. And don't worry, we'll do this a few times um, until the piece gets long enough so um, it's a little easier for me to, to handle. Just like that. Pick up an Abadelica, skip the next one, go through the next one. So we're just doing just regular peyote, 
Nothing is different from what you've done before. Just like that. It's just how it should look. So we're coming to the end, and this is where we're going to do our our kind of sort of funky turn here. All right. So pick up a white bead. This is where the odd count, you know, where the odd count turn comes in. And really, what you're doing is you're just going to be putting this bead next to the other white bead. So to do that, you have to you pick up a white bead, come around, come through the white bead, the delica under it, and the one on the diagonal, just like that. You might have to you'll have to sort of encourage that one to pop over, and that just sits it like that. See. And then what we want to do is come back, or we want to get out of this bead again so we can go down. So to do that, you're coming out of here, go through this one. Go through this one, and the white one on the left. And then through the bead, you just put on, right there. See that? So now we're ready to go down. That's all there is to the turn. And as you do, after a while, it, it just becomes um, second nature and it's just so much fun. So come down. Just like that. Come back up. So you really, you're just doing this funky turn um, on every other row. So you're just doing regular you know, just your regular peyote here. Okay, so we've come to the top again. We have to put that white bead on. So pick up your white bead. Again, remember we're we're just we're going to be placing this bead next to the top white bead. So come through the white one and the two on the diagonal, just like that. Pop it over into place, just like that. Now you want to get back up to here so you come out of this white bead. So to do that, you have to snake your way up. So you're coming out of here, go through the one next to the bead you're coming out of. Come on up. Go through the delica and then the, the white bead to the left and then down the bead you just put on. And now you're set up to continue. We'll do that one more time. Just going to do some, just peyote down. Oops. like that. Turn around, come back up. This is your regular peyote turn here. Now we're coming to the, the turn again. Pick up your white bead, come back through the white one and the two on the diagonal, just like that. The one under the white one, and then the one on the diagonal right there. Pop it into place, just like that. And then you want to come back up here, so you're coming out of here. Come over to the next one, bring your, oops, thread through there, through the turquoise, or the 10 delica, and then the 11 right there. And then down there. All right, and because I that came out of my hand, I'll do it one more time. <laughs> okay. So just peyote down. Come back up. Okay, 
Let's see if I can do this without pulling out of my hand for you this time. All right, so let's do our turn again. So pick up a, an 11 -0. You're coming out of this one. Come back around the white one and the two on the diagonal, just like that. Pull that down. Just like that. Now you want to come back up by you coming out of here. Go through this one. The turquoise, the, the Tenno Delica right there. The white one to the left and then down the bead that you put on. Okay, so there you have it. And then just continue. That's what you're going to do. Your whole ribbon. Just get this last one on. It really is kind of fun, and it's a nice, um, you know, sturdy sort of, makes sort of a nice sturdy fabric. Okay, so we're back up, back up the top again. 11 -0, come down the white one, and the two on the diagonal. Pop it into place. Come up this one. Come up the one in the middle, the white one to the left, down. So there you have it. Here's your little piece. All right. So continue this for four inches. And it, four inches will make a two inch ribbon. So the ribbon is two inches this way and about an inch this way, a little less than an inch this way. Um, and four inches will, will do that. And I want you to end just like this. So you have the two sticking out beads here. One, two, one, two. And um, so get that done and then meet me back here and I'll show you how to put the points on. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so I'm done with my strip, and here it is. All right, so let's get one of these points on. So you're coming out of the white uh, seed bead right here. This is where we put on, um, you know, did our odd count turn. And what we're going to do is going to pick up a white bead. So we'll pick up an 11 -0. come through. Delica, come through, pick up a white bead, come through. So you have. So now we need to snake around a little bit to get our thread back to where we can come up and put some more beads on. So I'll pull in a little for this. So I'm going to come up this one. Okay. I'm going to come up this one. I'm going to come down this one, just like that. And then I'm going to come up this white one. So you're just snaking around just to get yourself into position to put more beads on. And you just don't want any thread showing. So however, whatever it takes to get there is, um, as far as I'm concerned, is the way to go. <laughs> okay, so pick up a white bead. through this one, just like that, All right? And then you want to make sure you have that on securely. So here we're coming out of here. Just hop over to this one. Sew down there a little bit. Okay, just like that. Come down this one. I'm just sewing around so that I don't have any thread showing come back up this one and it's reinforcing the end really nicely just like that and then come back down this one get your thread caught just like that pick up your last white seed bead to make your point there you go so then you want to reinforce this so come back up the bead next to it And just sew around a little bit and come down. Here just sew, um, you know, change direction a little bit just to get it, to get your threads in 
tight. And then just clip off your thread. I don't sew tiny knots um, with peyote, so um, I just will go down the ribbon a little bit and um, you know, just changing direction, and then I'll clip it off. And um, so then do that side, and then meet me back here, and we'll get this side done. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so we're done with this side, and now let's do this side. So I've taken off the stop bead and I threaded my needle. And um, so it was like this. So I just flip it around because I want to work up. Um, so what you can do is just pop your bead on like that. But it's going to show some thread on this side, on this side of the bead. Now, I don't think it's that big a deal, but I want to show you how to do it without showing thread thread on the side. So you can do that and then just go, you know, add your beads onto the ends. But instead, we're going to do this. So we're going to come up these two, just like that. I'm going to come up this one, I think. I'm just going to check my beads. Okay, come up this one. Come down this one. Just snaking around. Come down this one and this one. And then back up the white one. And that's why I want to come out. I want to be facing up. The thread to be going up this way. Okay? So now I can put on the white beads. So a white bead. And no thread is going to show. Alright. Then put on your blue. Or your turquoise, your tenno. Put on another white one. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing we did before. I'm going to snake around again. So here. This one. Put on your white bead. Put on another white bead. Just like that. Secure this white bead. Like so. Come up this one. Come down this one. I don't know if it's exactly the same as the other side, but it's a pretty good route, I think. Come through this one, and then put on your last white bead. Don't forget to secure the bead by going through the bead next to the bead you're coming out of. Just like that. And then do your your, your um, reinforcing by going through several of your beads and changing direction, just like that. All right, and then clip off your thread. Meet me back here, and we'll um, we'll make the ribbon. All right, see you. In a okay, we're back, and I've have both ends done, and they're sewn in. So what you want to do now, you want to fold this over and um, and sew it. So uh, for both endings, I want you to look at the. Um, edge of your beadwork and find the side that has a double thread bridge. So this has a single thread bridge. When I look on this side, it has a double thread bridge. And the reason that's there is because that's where we did the, the sort of the funky turn um, for the odd count peyote, which is great because it makes this part really rigid so that you can fold it over and it will keep its shape. Isn't that good? So it's perfect for a ribbon. It will keep its shape. So just fold it over like that. Now, if you want to do this one, so fold it over and then come through your beadwork here until your needle comes out here and then just sew along this edge right here and sew along this edge. And it's going to be a, it's going to be a little strange doing it because the beads don't exact don't line up. So you'll have to kind of maneuver around a little bit, but I don't think you need me to do that. I think you can you can do that and just make sure you sew each side down and um you know, that will um, hold it in place and it won't flop over, okay? And now for this one, with the little bead, we're going to do 
So you're just going to go to the back of your beadwork and you're going to come through the middle. And you're just coming through the bead. You're not coming through a bead, you're just coming through the beadwork, actually. Just like that. And you have a stop bead on there. All right. So you, you've come right through the beadwork, through both layers. Pick up an 8-0 and an 11-0, just like that. Bring those down. Just like that. And you. Skip, and make sure you have it in, um, in line here. Skip the 11-0. And just come through the 8-0 and through the beadwork again. So just like go over a bead, but just you're just going right through both layers again. It's a little tough getting it through, but you'll get it. Okay, just like that. And that's going to hold that bead on just like that. All right. So then what you want to do at this point is you want to um, reinforce it. So go back through your beadwork again and um, go through the back and then come through the front, skip the, you know, come through the 11-0, go down through the 8-0. And then you can tack down either side on this also. Um, I'll just let you do that. But that's, you know, that's the general idea of what you're going to do with that particular ribbon. All right, so let me just pull out the others. So here we go. That's it. Just building them over. I haven't sewn these together yet. Just like that. So here you go. Oh, what I'll do is I'll put up a link to um, a couple of websites that have the meanings of the ribbons because um, each ri each color has multiple meanings. So um, you know to put them all down would be um, you know, it just, it, it's just, they're just too many. So um, I'll just give you a link to the, you know, to the websites I went to and, you know, you can, um, you can sort of research, you know, the colors and all that. All right. So there you go. Here's your awareness ribbon. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.